if you give up now it's a guarantee if you don't give up it's an unknown it's your choice at the end of the day you can either give up or keep going either way the time will pass you just have to live with your decision you want to be this you want to be that you want to get better we all want to get better at least i hope and the formula to getting better is consistency it's discouraging when you're looking at these amazing artists online when you're looking at people who can draw these magnificent portraits and you look at your work and you're just like where am i going wrong like why is it not coming out the way theirs is coming out this is called comparing comparing is one of the worst things you can do it will set you back it set me back a lot when i would compare myself growing up you know as an artist you know drawing looking at these people online looking at these amazing artists and I'll compare my technical skills to their technical skills. And I'll get so frustrated. I just rip up my sheet of paper. I crumble it, throw it my artwork away and never look back. Then the next month I will get back to drawing. And this cycle will repeat over and over and over until one day I decided, let me try something different because this is not helping me at all. I want to be a better artist. I want to progress a lot faster. So let me stay in my lane and not compare my artwork to these other artists. If you struggle with this, I recommend blocking them. Well, not blocking, but not looking at their content as much to compare your work. We all start somewhere. These people you look up to, they started somewhere too. I started somewhere. I wasn't always this good at drawing. I put in hours and hours of work and consistency to get to this level. It's either you don't want it or you do want it. The choice is really up to you. You just have to be okay with those choices. And if you're not going to be okay with those choices, then change. Make a change in your everyday life. Get up earlier or make a window of time where you can just work on your artwork or just draw. Or make a window of time where you just learn about artwork and drawing. Once you have taken those first steps to like stay a little bit more consistent and actually pursue what you want to pursue, then there's another challenge. And that challenge is caring what other people think. This is probably the biggest thing that helps so many people back on pursuing what they want to pursue is caring what others think, whether it be your friends, your family, or just random people you do not know. The thing with caring what other people think is that you never know what they really think. Yes, they can tell you things, they can send you messages, but at the end of the day, you are never really truly going to know what they're thinking inside their head. So you might as well just not really care that much. You have to detach from those feelings you get when people say negative things to you. Do you realize as humans, when we overthink, it's usually something negative. We like hardly ever overthink about something positive. And the reason for that is your mind, your body is trying to protect you against a threat. Your body works for you. You know, it helps you in so many ways but it can also harm you if you don't know how to navigate those ways. If you get 5,000 comments saying that you're great at drawing, you're amazing at art, you know, you can do anything. And then one person says that your art is trash and here's why. You're gonna think about that comment for the rest of the day, maybe the rest of the week. And that's because your mind is trying to protect you and it causes you to overthink about the negativity. Once you realize that you can't change what other people do, the only thing that you can truly change is what you do. The key is not to fall in love with the end result. The key is to fall in love with the journey. I hear it all the time. Oh, I'm trying to get better at drawing and I suck. Or I'm trying to draw like you and I can't do this and I can't do that. Me too. I was there at one point. There was a time where I comment on artists I look up to and I would say, you know, I'm trying to be like you when I get older. I want to be able to draw like you. And then I realized as I got into this point that you don't want to be like these people. You want to be like yourself. There's nothing wrong wanting to have this level of skill like someone else. It becomes wrong when you want to be that person. I need you to realize it's we're all one of one. You know, no one is the same. No matter what you do, no matter if you paint, draw, scope, whatever, you are one of one. And the world deserves your talent. The world deserves your gift. I hate to be morbid, but we're all gonna die one day. Everyone you know, everyone you love, they're gonna die one day. Why live your life according to other people? Live your life according to yourself. The time is gonna pass, you know? You're gonna either stay at home, watch TV every single day, play video games every single day, hang out with friends every single day. That time is going to pass. What you decide now is gonna be important for your future self. 
you can cut out those video games, cut out, cut out those friends for a period of time and work on your craft. Or you cannot do it and just be happy with the choice you made. When I share my art on social media, there are so many people that are like twice my age and they tell me like, I wish I would have pursued art and not really care about what other people think. And that's like my biggest regret. When I read those comments, that fuels me to get better at what I do, to keep going, keep pushing and not stop or quit because it's the worst thing to give up on what you love. Maybe you've gotten to that point where you're kind of staying more consistent and you're actually sharing your art with the world, but then you hit another roadblock and life is just obstacles. You have to climb one block at a time. Learning this skill will really help you pursue what you want to pursue in life. If you're struggling with like detaching yourself from negative things or negative thoughts, you should read the book, The Five Levels of Attachment. This is not sponsored in any way. It's just a book I really like. It helped me as an artist and it helped you too. After reading the book, I realized no one really cares about like what you do. Everyone is selfish, you know, they really care about themselves and what they need to do to make themselves feel better or feel superior. That's why when you get negative comments, it's not really about you and what you did, it's more so about them and how they feel about what you did. Trust me, like once I started sharing my art with the world, yes, I had so many positive comments and then the negative comments start to come in. These comments kind of, you know, got to me a little bit because I didn't know how to maneuver through them until I spoke with a very wise family member and they told me that once you actually start to get really good at something, then those are when the neg negative comments are gonna flood in. And I realized this because most of the comments I received were from older people who were, you know, artists, twice my age, triple my age, and they had to comment on my skill level because they were jealous or they truly believed it. So at the end of the day, their comments, what they have to say does not matter. To wrap this up, let me talk about the mindset. It really starts in here. Your mindset is probably one of the most important things you can master. When I first started drawing, I was trash. I really believed that I can become an amazing artist. I felt like I can create realistic portraits just using cheap materials. And look what I'm doing now. Just because someone close to you says something that goes against what you want to pursue does not mean you have to believe what they say. As long as you believe it, that's what matters. Embrace your mistakes, embrace your failures, because those things are going to make you become a better person, a better artist in the long run. Once you stop holding on to those failures, to those mistakes, then you start to learn from those experiences. You can listen to all the motivational speeches all day, every day. You can listen to this video all day and every day, which you should, <laughs> but you can listen to these things all day and every day and not apply those things. Until you actually apply what you learn and stay consistent, that's when you start to progress. If you don't remember anything I said during this video, this is the one lesson I want you to hear. Remember this, okay? Remember. If you give up now, it's a guarantee. But if you don't give up, then it's an unknown. Your life can go either way. You can take this road, take that road, or the road in the middle. You decide on where you want to take your dreams, your passions. You're your number one fan. You got this and get to drawing.